not outsider. You bear our crest, but your blood runs dry as ash. You are no Hellera. If you come as a friend, prove your intent, pay homage, or join us in death. We were nomads once. It was Saint Veloth's doing. He taught our hearts to wander. In those days, the first Ashkams called me brother. We gave our hearts to the ash, to the mountains. We linked arms with the other tribes and hunted the great scar. With my spear, I struck the final blow. All of Veloth's children embraced in triumph. Then everything changed. The scar fell. My people cried out for the quiet life, with crops and strong houses. We silenced our Velothi hearts and settled beside the fire river. Scar provided with chitin and meat. We thrived. There was peace for a time, then bloodshed.
The first Ashkans grew old and died. New Ashkans took their place with souls dark as pitch. They painted their faces and slaughtered us. But our home and history lost. The last of the Halerons left for wastes. Silence. You've paid your respects and listened, even as my family tries to kill you. Your heart is pure. Come, find me in my tomb. I will speak with you there. I sometimes forget the courage and vigor of the flesh. The years harden us, make us cold and suspicious. On behalf of my family, I beg your forgiveness. What brings you to our forsaken tomb? Yours is the only living heart that knows our sad tale. Truly? The Hleron name survives? Then there is hope for our house after all. You must take my spear and deliver it to this Drelith. As long as a member of my house carries that spear, the strength of the Hleron lives on. Yes, tell him that Aldrin was, is, and forever shall be our home. So long as my house lives in exile, the spirits that haunt this tomb shall never know peace. Drelith must claim his share of this land. The children of Ash may have forgotten our name, but they will not have forgotten that spear, the weapon that slew the great Emperor Crab. Their wise women and far seers will know its power. If he brandishes the spear, they will listen.
You're back. Just in time, too. The Ashlander's mood has soured since you set out. I'm not sure how much longer I can linger here. Tell me, did you find anything in the tomb? Is this... By the three, this is Calderas, the Hilaron Spear of Myth. I've seen illustrations, but I never thought I'd hold it in my hands. Remarkable. Did my ancestor say why he wanted me to have it? So my ancestors fought alongside the Ashlanders to bring down the great Emperor Crab. Unbelievable. But what happened to them? Why did they vanish? Yes, in the shadow of Scar, we found our home. There are few things more sacred than a dead hero's wish. I will see our home rebuilt, our tomb restored. I will honor my ancestors. House Hleron owes you a great debt, my friend. Thank you. Yes, wise mothers, I apologize for my haste earlier. I was simply desperate to reunite with my ancestors. That spear... I said... Outlander, quickly! This way! Where did you come by it? I've been thinking about my brother's claim that he's the Nerevarian since we last spoke. No matter how I try, the word tastes false on my tongue. And now I fear he's about to convince the wise woman that his quest for power will benefit the tribes. My brother is respected and revered. He has allies in all of the tribes, not to mention his personal red exiles. We have to proceed with caution, respect the Ashlander customs and traditions. Anything else will lead to violence and bloodshed. We talked to my brother, tried to convince him this isn't the way. Barring that, we make sure the wise woman doesn't get drawn into his madness. Whatever Chodala says or does, don't attack him. We don't need a war between the houses and the Ashlanders. Is our home? Absolutely not. The houses claim our land, our livelihoods. They will not take Scar from us as well. The wise woman. I was hoping she'd be here. You're too late, dear sister. Despite your protestations, the wise woman has gone to the cave of the incarnate to confirm my claim. Brother, do you really want to pursue this dangerous course? There was a time when you gave me your unconditional support, Saren. I miss those days. My brother Chodala is about to do something foolish and dangerous. But by dusk and dawn, Azura put you and I on the same path for a purpose. I just hope we have enough time. He's about to claim the title of the Nerevarine and try to unite the Ashlander tribes gathered here. He already convinced the Red Exiles to support him. He's using them to intimidate the other tribes. If he persuaded the Wise Woman to his cause... Wise woman Dovrasi, the most respected counselor and spirit guide this side of Red Mountain. She went to the cavern of the Incarnate to meditate on Chodala's claim. If she confirms my brother's assertion, the tribes will follow wherever he leads. Agreed, but I dare not leave Chodala alone with the tribes. I feel the hand of Azura in all this. Go to the cavern of the Incarnate and talk to the wise woman. I'll stay here and try to keep things under control until you return. The caverns to the northeast of Aldrin, on the other side of the mountain. Hopefully, the rumbling and lava won't slow you down too much. Get to the cavern and talk to the wise woman. If she accepts Chodala's claim about the Nerevarine. My brother isn't the first to believe he's Nerevar returned. All of the previous failed incarnates rest within the cavern. A statue of Azura watches over them as they await the arrival of the true Nerevarine. Azura proclaimed that someday, Indurel Nerevar, a hero from our ancient past, would return to unite the Dark Elves and right the wrongs of Nern. We call the returned incarnate the Nerevarine. My brother Chodala believes that he's Nerevar reborn. When Chodala became a Gulakan, a champion of our people, 
I supported him. When he stepped forward as Ashkan, leader of our tribe, I was at his side. But this new claim, it comes with strange powers and talk of war. I can't support those things. <laughs>